The Drama Llama by Rachel Morrisrow and Ella Oxtad. Alex Allen's brain was very curious indeed. It worked as fast as lightning at near supersonic speed. Whenever Alex worried, it would really take its toll, as that's when something happened that was out of his control. It happened during class, when Alex didn't know the answer. It happened at a party, when he wasn't the best dancer. It happened with his sister, when they had a little fallout. It happened during football, when he tripped and kicked the ball out. Whenever he was worried, or whenever there was drama, Alex Allen's brain produced a living, breathing llama. One wild and windy sports day, Alex thought, what if I slip? This egg is very wobbly, and I'm worried I might trip. That's when, plain as daylight, on that dismal afternoon, a llama hurtled round the track and won the egg and spoon. Now, usually, his llama disappeared within the day, but on that fateful afternoon, it didn't go away. It skipped around the supermarket, knocking down the beans. It licked the lemon buns and turned its nose up at the greens. Distract it with the doughnuts, Mum said. Maybe just ignore it? Perhaps if we both scarper, we can get back home before it? Running was quite useless, because, like a pongy smell, all the places Alex went, the llama went as well. As Alex worried more, that's when the llama started growing. It jumped into his bath water, which started overflowing. Bedtime was a nightmare. Alex kept on counting sheep. A llama in pyjamas makes it very hard to sleep. Alex tried his hardest to forget about his worry. But llamas can be hard to lose in any kind of hurry. He played a game of hide and seek. He left it on a train. That llama-shaped elastic, it just pinged straight back again. He tied it to an apple tree. He locked it in a zoo. He stuck it to a bench with seven tubes of superglue. He posted it to Panama. He locked it in the attic. The more he tried to lose the thing, the more it got dramatic. He walked it through some fresh cement to glue it in the muck. But when it found him back at school, things really came unstuck. The llama was now totally and utterly ginormous. It squeezed into the classroom as the teacher looked on, gormless. It thundered round the library, knocking bookshelves here and there. It munched up half the books and then it chewed Miss Myrtle's hair. The llama really started causing panic and hysteria, chasing kids and lunchtime helpers round the cafeteria. Taming it was useless. It was terrible at sitting. And pretty soon, it all got worse. The llama started spitting. Alex cried, This llama will be stuck with me forever. Miss Myrtle sat beside him, and she thought of something clever. The teacher spoke. The llama paused from gobbling the grass. Sometimes, she said, these feelings take a longer time to pass. See, everyone feels worried. It's okay to feel upset. And caring for your feelings can be easy to forget. When a fear or worry starts to leave you feeling stressed, find someone to talk to, because talking is the best. As Alex told her all the things that left him in a muddle, the giant llama halved in size and scooped him in a cuddle. Alex felt much happier and stronger from that day. Sometimes the llama stays a while, sometimes it goes away. 
But when the llama grows in size, or starts to misbehave, then Alex tries his best to practice something brave. But talking to a trusted person makes the creature calmer and helps to make life easier than living with a llama.